it, in the current marketplace, it's very conference driven in terms of the video streaming deals. Uh, it's not the individual schools making the decisions, it's, it's the conference. So what you have is you have the haves and have nots in each conference. You have the schools that have the infrastructure and the money and you have the schools that don't. So what you have to work with the conference on is finding a happy medium in terms of broadcast quality. Uh, so one of the things we've been really focused on is creating a conference blueprint, having them have actual goals set for the conference wide, not only to bring the bottom up, but just continually increase the, uh, the, the, the quality of the stream. So in terms of technology, what are we doing for that? You touched on you know, camera technology earlier. Uh, the cameras are getting better and better, and they're getting cheaper. And, the, and also, the amount of wireless solutions, whether it's cellular bonding or something like Slink Studio, where you've got a very cheap way of doing wireless cameras today. So we're seeing a, a kind of a, a, a case where the wish list for the customers is better quality and unifor a uniform product. So really, it's finding mm -hmm. the best quality we can get for no matter what the budget is of the particular school, but then having a unified graphics platform or unified instant replay platform that everybody's using right. and having a consistency from the, from the viewership. Because the, the thing that I think is often lost is that your, your main fan base in the, in the D2 and D3 space that's gonna be watching your games is the opposing team's fans. It's not gonna be your own fans. Right. So when you have a conference-wide situation, you want to make sure that your feed is as good as the other feeds in the conference because your fans are going to be watching all the other schools. They're not necessarily going to be watching your school. 